ओके टुडे वी हैव अ न्यू अटेंडी शिव माधव ऑल राइट मम नाम अंशु भवत्या नाम किम कृष्णवेणी जी You have only five seconds to answer. Uh, you are on mute. Can you unmute yourself, Krishna Veni Mahodaya? Okay, five seconds over. Bhavata ha naam kim Sanjeev Mahoday. Mama naam Sanjeev Acharya ji. भवत्याह नाम किम वर्षा जी मम नाम वर्षा भवत्याह नाम किम वैभवी जी वैभवी भवत्याह नाम किम संजीव जी मम नाम संजीव भवतः नाम किम हेमंत महोदय मम नाम हेमंत भवत नाम किम शिवाजी मम नाम शिवा भवत नाम किम आई थिंक एवरी वन इज आवर यू कैन जस्ट आस्क मी बैक Okay. You can call me Acharya or Anshu, whatever Anshu Mohan. Oh, Acharya, yeah. All right. Mama, naam Anshu. Uh, Kim Pathasi Bhavatyaha Vaibhavi Mahodaya. Pratham Thami. And one more. Bhavatyaha Kim Pathasi Hemanti Ji. अहम पठा संस्कृत किम पठसी संजीव जी अहम पठा संस्कृत किम लिखसी ठम शिवाजी शिव महोदय संजीव जी आज डू किम शिव महोदय संजीव जी आज डू किम लिखसी तम शिव महोदय अहम लिखसी संस्कृत अहम लिखा See, with aham, it will be always ami uh, action verbs. So, likha ami, patha ami. You can see on my screen. Aham, aham likha ami. Aham likha ami. Samskritam. Okay, and just ask somebody else. Kim patha ami. Ah. Kim patha. Yeah. See, see, so. Remember, when you are asking somebody else in front of you, then it is a C uh, at the end of the verb. And for yourself, whenever you are using aham, then it is ami. So two separate usages depending on uh, who you are asking or who is answering the question. Okay, go ahead. Ask the question. अहम पठा संस्कृत किम पटसी वैभवी जी वैभवी महोदय पठा भवत्म पठसी वर्षा जी 
अहम पठा संस्कृत लिखसी तम हेमंत महोदय अहम लिखा संस्कृत किम पठसी कृष्णवेणी जी वर्षा महोदय ओके नाउ यू कैन आस्क सम क्वेश्चन व्हाट एवर यू लाइक एतत किम संजीव जी एतत पुस्तक वर्षा जी एतत किम हेमंत महोदय पुस्तक वैभवी जी स्क्रीन शोइंग पुस्तक पॉसिबिलिटीज हियर पुस्तक एंड इफ यू नो दबजेक्ट and if you want to add it you can always say uh, if you have your pen and paper you can write it down right now as well etat sanskritasya pustakam so you when you say etat sanskrit pustakam uh, it that is also okay uh, at least it will pass on the message but the correct usage would be sanskritasya ka aur ki yes so in this uh, class does everybody understand hindi because there are few things that i might want to explain using hindi otherwise i will use english let's confirm who is there anybody who does not understand hindi simple hindi i right? don't know hindi i am not talking about complex stuff i just understand them but i can't speak okay you don't have to speak i'll not make you speak <laughs> don't worry <laughs> no i don't know i don't know hindi okay so krishna veni ji doesn't okay so let me write that in both languages i will write in uh, hindi and in english and let's see if you understand what i am trying to write this time so now we will whenever you have uh, nouns and there are many other words which have these forms these are called uh, vibhakti okay my tablet is a little twisted hang on okay Is so today we will 
learn about vibhakti so because i wrote that uh, sanskritasya so that is why i am trying to let you know a few important pieces of sanskrit now this is from a grammatical point of view today is the first day when we are learning this so uh, you don't have to worry if you don't get it the first time but i, I think it is very easy so it's not too much so we will use uh, ram as the initial word because it's small it's uh, faster to write all right so uh, vibhakti has eight types and we will see what all are there ram ramam ramena and i will write down the vibhakti name also and we'll just write few you don't have i don't have to write all of them so it's like prithama dvitiya tritiya and so on what happened here uh you may have to rejoin the meeting i think it's because of the scheduled time of the meeting so whenever it disconnects i think it will be after 4 minutes from now okay so it goes on from prathima prathama dvitiya triti actually we we should write because otherwise it is easier to remember with these प्रथमा द्वितीया तृतीया चतुर्थी पंचमी षष्ठी सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द यूसेज ऑफ दैट वर्ड देर आर डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ द सेम वर्ड ऑल राइट एंड वी विल सी ऑल ऑफ देम राइट नाउ बिकॉज आई हैव मैंशन वन ऑफ देम एंड वी हैव बीन यूजिंग फ्यू अदर्स ऑलरेडी इन मेनी ऑफ अवर स्टेटमेंट्स so in hindi it will look like prathama ne dvitiya ko tritiya se सेम थिंग इन संस्कृत बिकॉज हिंदी डज नॉट हैव दीज वर्ड्स the vibhakti hmm. words hindi has these articles directly so ne ko se uh, ke dwara these are okay. directly there in hindi chaturthi ke liye then panchami uh, you see my screen right uh, is it refreshing yes we can see your screen okay so panchami se shashti ka ke ki depending on the gent of the word saptami me acha it's Or, not refreshing still on say trithya yeah now it's coming
and ashtami doesn't have any article separately it is just uh, sambodhan sambodhan means uh, so you call somebody with respect and that's all so let us learn uh, write these in english also once so ram ne <laughs> you can help me write this in english because uh, ram ne means what uh ram did something ram ko so i would say to ram or i'll just say to uh ram ke dwara by ram this is by or by this is actually also from then ke liye is for say is again by but uh, this the tritiya no, the by that we saw know. has to be through so from or through this is slightly different it is varsha is job was nice when sandeep ji asked अहम धावा the joke that varsha ji made uh, at that time our recorder had stopped so varsha ji make that joke once more okay in next class <laughs> yeah this is strange. our recorder was running but the, when the meeting restarted in between uh, the recorder stopped so the the last part that we recently did uh, did not get recorded although we practiced but uh, in the video it uh, it would not come unless we record it again so anyway let me go back here and i was going to give you one more example uh, which will help you understand the usage of this uh, Uh, even more. Uh huh. Sanskritam. Pathami. Likhami. understandable easy yes acharya and there is no other now right so now let me ask uh, shiva uh, shiva mahoda is logged in or not okay shiva is not there let's see sanjeev mahoda संस्कृत पठसी लिखसी च वा ओके सो नाउ इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेर इट इज ऑलरेडी अ लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन एंड वा समटाइम्स डज नॉट साउंड वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट सो यू कैन एक्चुअली यूज अ किम एट द एंड किम मीन्स क्या इन हिंदी एंड इन इंग्लिश वाट or are you or so i can also say sanjeev ji bhagata sanskritam pathasi likhasi cha kim or i can use kim in the front also
but anyway you don't have to worry about uh, compound sentences yet uh, you will learn, but you will also realize that uh, even in other languages also uh, longer sentences are avoided so even in english you are sometimes you have exercises to simplify sentences let me plug my charger okay so as need arises we will try to use this ch uh, if, if if it cannot be avoided otherwise try when you are learning a new language try to keep your sentences separate so you can ask uh, bhavatah sanskritam pathasi kim or kim pathasi uh, bhavatah and then once that is answered then you can say kim likhasi bhavatah then it is easier to navigate through the language but it doesn't mean that there are no possibilities uh, there are but it just sounds a little complex sometimes even for the listener it becomes a little difficult so you can keep your sentences simpler are we using cho in question 2 uh, which one uh when we we are asking twam sanskritam pathasi likhasi then are we using cho cho then kim or va yeah you can use va is still okay so va is not an invalid uh asking va i'm asking cho are we using cho yeah you will use cha otherwise how will you say are you studying and writing sanskrit so yes. uh, <clears throat> answer chaliye yes go ahead aham sanskritam vatami likami cha and who will say am in the front Oh. oh because i was asking are you studying and writing sanskrit so you will want to start with either a yes or a no and then complete this aham sanskritam padhami likhami cha va who are you asking uh, संस्कृत आम वट बिकॉज 
when you say bhavatyah it is usually uh, meant for tum or you and with you you will always use a c but a c or like a c depending on the verb all right so let us bhavatyah sanskritam patasi likasi cha uttamam and dhanyavadam aham kaksha samaptam karomi aham acharya sarvesham namo namaha and uh, i have a question acharya ji okay go ahead geeta ji uh, yesterday we had sent the uh, the audio of the uh, the alphabets did you go through it acharya was it okay or ha huh. so with some of them i have already responded with others uh, i have yet to respond so i will do that today dhanyavada and i think you are all doing well so i i could see most of you have done well and i saw one of them was very very detailed uh, in terms of hrsv dirgha swar wherever it is so yeah it's all nice yes go ahead varsha ji uh acharya navin ji always says dhanyavad in the end so is it always dhanyavad dhanyavadam uh, do we use both at different times or is it dhanyavad only or how do how do we use it <laughs> Yeah, धन्यवाद है इज ओके बट वॉट एवर यू यूज एज धन्यवाद यू विल नॉट वॉन्ट टू यूज एट धन्यवाद एट द एंड बिकॉज यू रिमेंबर वेन वी लर्न अबाउट विभक्ति इन दिस पेज ओके वर्सेज राम आर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट राइट नो बट देर आर मेनी अदर वर्ड्स विच ऑल्सो फॉलो द सेम टाइप ऑफ विभक्ति लाइक इवन वृक्ष वृक्ष इज नॉट अ नेम राइट बट इट इज स्टिल अ कॉमन नाउन बट वी विल लर्न अबाउट द यूसेज ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक वर्ड मोर लेट मी राइट इट डाउन समवेर इज दिस पेज ओके ओके धन्यवाद तो इन नेक्स्ट क्लास व्हाट वी विल लर्न इज सम ऑफ द कॉमन एरर्स दैट वी माइट मेक यूजिंग संस्कृत ओके राइट सो धन्यवाद शुभ रात्रि शुभ दिन सर्वेशाम नमो नमः धन्यवाद धन्यवाद